Good evening guys. Tonight we're going to be talking about NATO straps or Zulu straps on the Apple Watch. So one way that a lot of traditional watch collectors have uh, dressed up their watches or, or changed the appearance of their watch in the past has been through the use of uh, NATO or Zulu straps. Now uh, these straps come in a variety of different colors and styles. Uh, you see I have a, a few of them here and um, they're actually pretty simple. How they work is <clears throat> it's one uh, single strip of nylon or, or it can be leather. It opens up like this. Basically what you do is you attach your watch case onto this uh, continuous portion up here and then tuck the tail end into the buckle down below. And then it wraps around your wrist and, and locks in just like a, a traditional watch strap would. Now the difference between a NATO strap and a Zulu strap is um, in, the, in the type of rings that are used. The Zulu straps typically have these uh, oval rings and the NATO straps have these um, more angular rings. But when you take a look at the Apple Watch, uh, you can fit the Apple Watch with one of these straps. Uh, basically what you'll need are a pair of uh, strap adapters. Obviously you want to get the strap adapters that fit your Apple Watch. So for the 42, make sure you search for the uh, 42 millimeter strap adapters. I have a separate review just about strap adapters, so you can check that out. There's a couple different types of strap adapters that you can find. Uh, so to take off the, um, the original strap, you just push the little oval button on the back of the watch case and it releases the strap. So you take it off and then you install these strap adapters into the watch. Now taking a look at the adapter there's one side that has two black and then one silver insert and then the other side has three black inserts. The side with the, um, the three black inserts actually faces upwards towards the front of the watch so you'll want to install it that way. That's the way the, um, the magnetic locking system works. Alright, so now that that's installed, you can install a NATO strap onto the watch. Again, um, you'll open it up like this, so that the continuous side of the band is like that, and then you just slide it into the top buckle, or the top loop on the adapter and then slide it back out through the bottom loop and then slide it through this lower buckle. So basically it looks like that. And when you pull it down, this is how it looks. The only problem with this is obviously the way the Apple Watch is designed, the sensors on the back need to be in contact with your skin, otherwise the watch will go into lock mode. So let me try this on and then we'll, we'll show you what how it reacts. All right, so here's the Apple Watch. I've unlocked it and uh, I'm wearing it on the NATO strap. The watch, once it turns off and it turns back on, then it goes back into lock mode because it doesn't think that it's in contact with my skin because the sensors aren't picking anything up because they're um, blocked by the the leather of the NATO strap. So basically, unless you just want uh, to wear your Apple Watch as just a, kind of a traditional watch with a digital readout and not really have access to any of the features, this this isn't going to work because every time you want to do anything you're going to have to try and um, hit the unlock code. But there is an option out there uh, for people who want the look of a NATO strap uh, on their Apple Watch. So what that option is, is um, some companies have come out with uh, NATO style straps that use more of a traditional uh, attachment to the watch. And you can get them in a variety of different colors. Uh, this one, for example, is kind of a olive green. And you can see it, it, it's actually split in half like a traditional watch strap, but it does have that look of a, of a NATO or a Zulu style strap. 
So here's a Zulu strap next to this strap, for example. So basically all you'll need to do is you'll take the uh, those same strap adapters, like I talked about in the beginning. Let me take this off. And all you need to do is attach the strap to the strap adapters. Slide it into the Apple Watch. And there you have kind of the, the NATO or Zulu style look on your Apple Watch. And I'll put it on my wrist just to show you that it still works. All right, so here it is on that uh, NATO style or Zulu style strap and you can see that the watch knows that it's in contact with my skin because it is and it doesn't go into the automatic uh, lockdown mode. So for those of you that want uh, this style look, um, your option is to, to search for a two-piece uh, NATO or Zulu style strap um, because those will be compatible with the Apple Watch. Uh, unfortunately the traditional NATO or Zulu style strap uh, are not. All right, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comments section down below. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you'd like to see more uh, reviews like this in the future. Also, please visit us at watchintime.com for some more detailed photos as well as links uh, where you can find these, these types of straps. All right, thanks for watching.